Hi guys, it's Paolo Cordiaco here, winner of the 2021 official Strongman Games, and you are watching Raw Strongest Man. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. First up, it's a brand new under 80 kilo world record in the Atlas Stones. The first person to lift this was Chris Harper. The weight, 174 kilos or 383 pounds for a new world record. You can see him competing here at Britain's Strongest Man under 80 kilos. It's a big lift, but he gets it done. Now someone else that was competing at that show is Tim Dagleish, one half of the world's strongest twins. He also manages 174 kilos or 383 pounds, so those two guys now jointly hold the record. Now next up we move into the bench press. First up it's powerlifter Luke Tolman. The weight today is 240 kilos or 529 pounds for two reps. He's looking really strong. Next up it's Joseph Tumbarello. He's doing three reps with a pause. The weight today, 247 kilos or 545 pounds. Here's a lift from Johnny Harris. It's an incredible 295 kilos or 650 pounds. Next up, it's an incline press from Leonidas Arcona. The weight, 220 kilos or 485 pounds. We now move into some overhead pressing. And first up, it's powerlifter turned strongman Luke Nall. The weight on that dumbbell, 100 kilos or 220 pounds, as he gets ready to compete in the open category of the Shaw Classic. Now next up and also pressing overhead, it's Gavin McNamee of Ireland. He says, I worked up to 105 kilos on this loadable block press. He makes it look easy and it's awesome because he can now add some more weight. Here's a lift from Chris Harrison. He competes as an under 105 kilo athlete. The weight on the axle today is 145 kilos or 320 pounds. Next up it's Callan Swaddling, working on the log. He says, my pressing strength is definitely coming along and that's 150 kilos or 330 pounds. Next up it's Rauno Heinler, pressing out of the rack. He's doing it strict with 170 kilos or 375 pounds. Next up, we're back in America, and we join strongman Jose Baez Jr. He says, 402 pound log, clean and press. I missed you log, too bad I won't be training with you anytime soon. Although it was his first over 400 pound log clean and press in a long time, he says it felt super good. Next up, it's Bobby Thompson, also known as the American Nightmare. This is his new personal record in the log press. The weight, 204 kilos or 450 pounds for two reps. Here comes rep number two. He gets himself stable and he's really strong overhead. I expect to see a new record coming soon. We now move into some squatting and first up with a new front squat personal best, it's Shannon Clifford. The weight, 120 kilos or 264 pounds. Next up it's Susanna Toth. She said, I've decided to switch to sleeves from wraps. The weight today, 170 kilos or 374 pounds. Next up, it's another squatter. This is Gwen Johnstone. He's doing a front squat also. The weight on his bar, 200 kilos or 441 pounds. Next up, we're out in India and we join Vikram Fogat, also known as the Indian Hulk. He's doing a raw squat with 300 kilos or 661 pounds. Next up, it's powerlifter John Hack. He says, I've decided to go sleeveless and beltless. This is the most I've squatted without sleeves. The weight, 310 kilos or 683 pounds. Next up, it's powerlifter Rob Spence. He is three weeks out from the powerlifting series ABS Pro and finally hitting some solid numbers. The weight today, 372.5 kilos or 821 pounds for two reps and he rounds out the first half of today's video. Now we're into the second part of today's video and we kick off with a moving event. First up it's Irvin Toits of Estonia on a frame carry. The weight, 
300 kilos or 661 pounds. Next up it's Tim Buck. He's training on a super yoke. The weight 424 kilos or 935 pounds. He's going pretty quick with that also. We now move into the deadlift section and first up it's Veronica Lildurov pulling an unofficial under 80 kilo Swedish record. That's 242.5 kilos or 534 pounds from a height of 18 inches. Next up it's powerlifter Bob Matthews pulling 320 kilos or 705 pounds for two reps. Next up we join Tom Lindley Mullins. He says this is a big last pull of prep 335 kilos or 738 pounds. He's keen to see what he's going to pull out of his ass on comp day and so are we. Next up it's under 80 kilo deadlift specialist Tom Mannion. He says in four and a half weeks time I'm going to try and get my deadlift world record back. So wishing him all the best of luck and that's 338 kilos or 745 pounds. Here's a clip from Marco Reyes. It's 360 kilos or 793 pounds for three reps touch and go. Next up we're in competition and we join powerlifter Eamon Harford pulling 362.5 kilos or 800 pounds. He makes it look easy and definitely got more in the tank. We're now out in Iceland and we join Christian Nilsson for his new personal record. It's 365 kilos or 804 pounds and with a bit of a hitch he gets a good lift. Now next up we're out in New Zealand and we join four times New Zealand's strongest man Matthew Rag. He's working on his deadlift also. The weight 404 kilos or 890 pounds for three reps. I still think Matthew deserves an invitation to next year's world's strongest man. So hopefully if they're watching, they can see how strong he really is. And the final deadlift today comes from Gavin Bilton, pulling 420 kilos or 926 pounds for a speed rep. Gavin will also be competing at this year's Arnold Strongman Classic UK. So definitely get down there and show some love for the bull. Next up we've got some competition news and it comes from Britain's strongest man under 80 kilos. First place went to Tommy Chivers, second place was Joe Daglish and third place was Chris Harper also breaking that Atlas Stone world record. Next up we've got another competition. This is Clash of the Masters 2022. First place went to Tim Phyllis, second place Travis Ortmeier and third place was Nick Best so congratulations to all of them. And seeing us out today, it's Canadian strongman Maxime Boudreau working on his log press. He says, I'm starting to feel like my old self again, pressing 190.5 kilos or 420 pounds for two reps. Anyway guys, that's it from me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And I'll catch you again as always on the next one.